But this is the bottom. This is the side that you want to sand. There is a little pencil. I still have a little pencil mark. You want to sand it till there's no pencil marks. Sand it till you get this feeling like one piece of wood and you don't have any pencil marks. So have a little tiny pencil mark. Oh, creation. If there's a lot of people at this table and um, there's no room for you, you can go on to the next step, which is sand the sides. Eventually, at some point, sand the bottom flat. That's your goal, to get it feeling like one piece of wood. So, put it in here. Sand, don't sand with you, sandpaper. Sand, you keep sanding until that becomes, feels like one piece of wood. You want to sand the pencil marks off. If you sand the pencil marks off like this, it takes a long time. Don't sand them off like this. Sand it a little bit at a time. So stand there. It gets off a lot faster. <laughs> if you're sanding and sanding and sanding and you can't get a side even, put away the sandpaper and get rasp. Put it in the vise. Get the mama rasp. If you file this towards you, it's going to chip on this side. So only file it in a forward motion. And that do happen to chip some, that's what you're going to have to sand later. So, once you get it so it's flat so you don't feel any bump anymore, then you can sand it to make it smooth. So remember to find it toward you, not away from you. Don't to the end toward the center. Then you will sand. To get rid of the scratches, the sand to get rid of the scratches. Feel it should be smooth everywhere before you move on. If you have cracks in your project, where two pieces of wood get nailed together, you could have small cracks. If you have cracks, this is how you fill it in. You think back to the memo holder. You get sawdust. Eventually you get sawdust, but first a little glue. Then, don't go to the sawdust. If you go to sawdust right now, it's going to make a mess. You want a dry paper towel. After you put the glue, wipe it off. Then you're going to go to the sawdust and sprinkle it in. Don't sand with your sandpaper. There's hair in there. Brush all the sawdust off and bring it back to your table. You want to get sandpaper from the used sandpaper box. If you use your own sandpaper, it's going to ruin it. So we use one that is already ruined. Then once it's there, it's going to be dirty to sand until it's clean. And once these are all flat, then you go on to the next step. If you haven't sanded the bottom yet, sand the bottom. Next step is you want to round over all the edges. That's the least you want to do. If it's even, don't round the edges over yet, you want to get files. These files take a little bit off, we want to round it before we sand it. If you just sand it, it's going to ruin your sandpaper. So round most of it. You do not want to round the bottom, we want to leave that flat. So you around that corner, that corner, that corner, and sand over it. You can use the smooth file or the small rasp to do that. So each one of those will get off a little bit. All the edges will be rounded. Wow. So round that all over. This is the least you want to do. Here are some examples if you want to spend some time to make it look better what you could do. At least that. If you want to spend time and round it a lot. Instead of using just the smooth file, you would use the rasp. This will take off a lot of wood, but it will make it rounded, then you'll sand over it. If you're going for a... That's using the rasp, but not rounding it, but just kind of taking out part of it, then sanding it with smooth. What we're trying to do is get rid of all the edges, and I just went around this with the um, big rasp. So I call that my Flintstone bank. What's it called? Is that what it's called? Then we have a bunch of these round files. 
If you want to do designs for the edges, you can go around and do that. When you use these, it's going to be rough when you're done. So when you're done, what do you get minus points for if anything's rough? So as soon as you're done filing, wrap the sandpaper around the file to smooth out all of the cuts that you plan to do if you're doing different designs.